<clears throat> what's going on everybody what's up guys y'all are in for a treat today guys this is a live like no other live we got a lot planned for tonight we're starting off sitting here behind old, or actually in front of uber right there uber does still exist i ain't had a chance to really get out there and get much done but uber actually mike's ran uber more than i have here lately Since moving water because yeah. <laughs> i have been 100 percent focused on the tiny house and guys i've been putting it in and i mean in 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 enough to where i've been telling him hey man take it easy slow down a little bit i ain't been listening he's been locked in like a hey, missile hi. guys Hold on. Uh oh. Alert! Alert! Come on, going live. <laughs> Leister from above, what's going on? Julie Hallman, hello. Hey, Teresa. Auntie Anne's in the house with us. What's going on, everybody? But yeah, I've been working a uh, day and night, guys. Um, last night, I actually was. I finished at eleven forty-five last night, um, and I started a little bit before eleven that morning. I was doing some other stuff, but actually working on the tiny house. Yep. I started at about 11, somewhere around there. Pretty much right after I got done filming, come on, keeping it real, I went straight to work yesterday. Uh, we took a half inch off the drywall. I say we, me. The, corp the corporate we. <laughs> the corporate we. <laughs> uh, I talk to myself when I'm working, so it's we. I need to say um, I took a half inch around all the drywall, around the base, all the way around. Um, that was a pain in the rump shaker. Um, yeah. It wasn't hard. It's just me down on my hands and knees is really bad for my back. And, uh, yeah, I was limping by the time I got done. But once everything kind of got uh, uh, <laughs> situated, I was good to go. Plus, I've been dealing with tennis elbow for, the, like, the last week. At the end of the night, this right here, I could barely pick up and take a drink. But uh, I ain't letting it stop me because I'm on a schedule. Now, granted, it's my own schedule, but uh, in two days – uh, after tomorrow, I have Country Road Cure, Simple Life Reclaim, Mike and them, they're all coming over here, and we're going to start taking down that tiny house up the street there and get it here on Come On Mountain. It's not going to be built right now. It's going to be stored over there where Drifting Dreamers started their journey. Right. At, that's going to be its, its location. So I'm going to store it over there. And uh, I would like to at least get to a point I can move into the tiny house before that happens. Um, I'm not going to move in before, but it will be ready for me to move in. My goal is, is why I got all the extra hands here to move that big old bed by the time the project oh, yeah. down there is over to make it a lot easier to get my bed out there without messing it up. That bed is heavy. It don't have no handles. I don't know why nobody in the world would make a mattress that big and not put handles on it. It joker is heavy. It's all, um, what is it? Uh, da, 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 da. Latex. Latex. The whole mattress is latex. And uh it's got like a guarantee for like 30 years to never dishape anything. If anything stains it or whatever, it goes back and get a new one for free. It's got a heck of a warranty. Um they was they was proud of it, but uh it's a really nice bit. So I don't want to drag it across the rocks and all that because I'm gonna tell you right now, me and Mike ain't picking it up by ourselves. I was just about to say, can you imagine me trying to yeah. grab it and carry it across? I'd get my end, but I promise you <laughs> that joker weighs five times what Mike weighs. So that ain't happening. Um but tonight I'm excited because I don't have time to stop. Um we're gonna do a little work here on this live. I've already got some stuff uh, set up behind the camera. I'll show you all here in a minute. That's going to be so fun. But uh, last night, we finished the painting in the tiny house. And uh, there we go again. We, me and myself, I told It's come on Homesteading Incorporation. Yeah, Incorporation. Yeah. Um, I told Mike, Mike came up to check in on me. Uh, it was still daylight. And I told him, I said, I'm going to finish tonight. And he was like, uh, you know. Maybe. At 11.45, I sent him a text, done. Man. <laughs> And, uh, man, I was, it was 65 degrees in there with the air conditioner and I was pouring sweat at midnight. Get and, it though. But, I'll tell you what, it looks amazing. Yeah. Got it done. And the night before I actually worked from about seven in the morning until 10 at night that night. So in the last two days, I mean, I've worked about 30 hours, something like that. <laughs> and, uh, Getting it. I feel good, though. Um, I did get a little bit of sleep. Um, my brother butt-dialed me this morning. I was going to sleep in a little bit. 
woke me up at seven. I went to sleep probably about one thirty, yeah. and I uh, got up at seven, and I've been getting it ever since. Y'all seen I put a keeping it real out today. Um, I set this live up today, and also I edited a video this morning because I worked all night and didn't get a chance to edit it. And I told y'all on keeping it real, I was I was gonna get y'all a video out. So that was the first thing I did this morning was right. edit a video, get that going for y'all, and then came out here and uh, started working. And Mike came up and installed the reinstalled the lights oh, that we yep. took down for painting. Yep. Um, I had him come up to do that. It's something I could have done, but some of those lights were a little tricky, and he already figured it out from installing it the first time. Yep. So time is money right now. So I had him come up, and he was able to install them in like 15 minutes. And uh, so now there's the lighting that's going to be in there. Um, another thing that we're going to do towards the end of the live, guys, I've already got a couple of these things mocked up on the inside. The ones on the inside don't have polyurethane on there yet, but it's going to give you a good idea of what it's going to look like inside of the cabin. And you're also going to get a sneak peek of it being painted because that's still two videos away. Yep. Not counting the so video then, today. You guys getting some gems so tonight. Y'all are going to get to actually see what the tiny house actually looks like. Not all of it, just the wall of it. And maybe a little bit for those curious eyes that like to, yeah, like to kind, of, kind of look around a little bit. But uh, y'all are going to get a major sneak peek tonight, guys. So I hope y'all are excited. I hope y'all are ready to get at it. I know I have not been looking at the comments, guys. Yeah. Um, Mike is going to be the host. The hostess of, with the most this live right here because I'm going to be getting it, guys. Um, because I need to get this phase right here done tonight um, so we can have dry time for tomorrow because what I'm doing tonight will be installed tomorrow because it's my last day. And after this live, I'm actually going to be going into the tiny house while all of this is drying. And I'm going to get the floors clean. That way, after tomorrow, it should be ready for me to at least move my bed and stuff like that in. Yeah, we're getting close, guys. Man, we're getting close. 602 people, seven minutes into the live, nice. guys. We are rocking and rolling tonight. Yeah, it's going to be a fun. I also want to y'all let me know what y'all think about this format that we're going to do tonight. It's not something I can do all the time because it definitely requires two people. Most of the time, Mike's here with me anyways. But there's a lot of setup that takes place right. with this as well. And uh and also about this time or whatever, most times I'm I'm about tired of working. Out, yeah, huh? I'm about, <laughs> about poop. Right now I'm just on a whole adrenaline kick. We all know what happened last week and and stuff. And uh speaking of which, Randall Grunland, ten dollars super chat. Yep. Sorry about the rug getting pulled on you. Oh, uh, hey, no problem. Um, we all know what happened last week. I'm not the type that just sits around and grovels in misery and all that other stuff. Uh, I find positives in things, and I also use things to motivate me. And uh, I had a goal to get this done for other reasons, of course. But now it's my goal to get in there and get comfortable because after me and Mike worked in that 100-degree weather for, like, really a month and a half straight, straight, um, nonstop, I, I believe I deserve a nice, cold, cool place to actually relax. Man, and, uh, absolutely. And so I'm about to make it happen, and it's just going to take a little bit of uh, getting her done to get there. That's right. Well, with that, I'm going to let Mike talk to you all for a little while. I'm going to go get set up. And uh, tonight, guys, we are going to do the trim for the tiny house start to finish. Um, trim? I like besides trim. actually install, we're going to actually do the shish kabam or whatever it's called. What is it? Shashumi? Shashami? 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 Yeah. Um, we're going to burn the wood, all of that from raw wood. We're gonna, I got a little table set up behind us where we're going to put polyurethane on mm. it and stuff. And you'll that be able shine. to see Man. what it looks like when it's being burnt. And then what it looks like after you put the polyurethane on it. 681 yep. people hanging out with us. I know you guys are ready to get to work. Uh, I missed the comment. This chat's jumping so hard, but somebody commented said, oh, yeah, they tuned in for David to get ready to work, guys. You guys are here. You're ready to see it. we uh seen a couple of more people coming in the, uh, in the chat. Junk the Gym, Homestead, what's going on? Karen Herky, that's right. You know he's better than that. Bubba Jones, Dennis Green, what's going on, brother? So nice to mention to folks in Maui, it's not all about you. Yeah, there's some outrageous stuff going on over there, man. That fire is raging. Definitely a lot of prayers and uh, going out for the people over there. That stuff there is, is serious. It's always a natural disaster somewhere wiping people out. So we always got to be positive and think about that, you know. Try to think about other people. 
Karen Bress. What's up, Bubba Jones? How's it going? Uncle David is getting everything set up over there, guys, but he's got a whole table set up, like he was saying, board set up. He's got the flamethrower rigged up with the big boy gas tank and stuff like that. It's getting ready to roll, guys. Cindy Brown, hello. Lila Newton, what's going on, sister? Sherry Udell, everything's looking good so far. Thank you so much. Yeah, everything is looking pretty good. Our Oki Homestead, hello, dear. Susie Jacobson, hello, hello. Dang, you guys hear that in the background? Let's go check it out and see what he's doing. Let me get you guys set up for our time. Dang. How cool is that? That is looking pretty good. Paul Honeyman, what's going on, brother? Ron Sears, you see that trim? You guys want to get a closer look? Hey, hey Michelle, how's it going? Let's get a closer look, guys. Oh, Randall Grunlin, $5 super chat. You're good, people, Mike. Uh, what did it say? Hold on one second. Uh, minus the Niners. LOL, just kidding. I lived there when it was Rice to Montana. I was stationed in Cali. Oh, sweet, bro. Marshmallows needed. That's right. Let's check it out, guys. See if I can figure this out. Look how it's changing. That is amazing. I can feel the heat off of it. <laughs> That's so cool. The dreaded Scott Last. Lots of love from Scotland. Hello, dear. Mike, you're an expert at that job there. Thank you, brother. Yeah, Auntie Anne, that dry wood burns so much heat better. Look at the look on that. Hey. Petra's in Brody Creations, $9.99 Super Chat. Great work. Thank you so much. Well, happy birthday, gang. Well, that's right, Uncle Blue. Live action, Uncle Bo. Guys, that wood is burning so much better than that fresh mill wood than uh, when we were doing earlier this year. There was so much moisture in that other wood that was sitting there. It would take so long to burn it up. And this stuff is really rolling. Living our life. Thank you so much. Hey, here's something pretty cool, guys. I'm going to bring you an all-in exclusive behind the scenes. We got the camera set up over here. It is. You see it? There it is right there, right? So right now, this is how you get that really cool uh, come on homesteading video going on. We got the camera set up. It's getting some good shots right there. Matter of fact, let's show you guys. What's up? Come on, homesteading. What's it? Tell everybody hi, guys. We're live. And we're making a video. That's it. That's a behind-the-scenes exclusive right there, huh? Let's check it out, guys. Let's get some exclusive video. How about you guys do some filming? There you go, guys. Get that angle. This is behind the scenes.
double dipping filming, Auntie Anne. That's right. Huh? Come on, come on, come on, live, live, action, action. <laughs> We're going to come over here and post this up right here. What do you guys think about that? Was that pretty cool or what? Normally, I'll have the camera and I'll come in and out with different angles on it. Try to get a little bit closer where you can really see that wood grain burning up. What? I want to show you something real quick. Let's check this out. The cool thing I like about this burnt wood stuff is you never know exactly what it's going to look like. Every type of wood does it differently, and every tree has different knots and all that other stuff. Right here is a good example. I put these two together on purpose. This right here is actually, I bought this at a different time. It's a totally different type of wood. I don't really know exactly versus this one right here. You can kind of see the pinstriping look in this one versus this is a whole lot closer grain. And more of like a burnt look. And this one right here. I bought this wood right here. This pinstriping wood. This is what the rabbit hutch was made out of. And uh, this one right here is a raw one. And that's what it looks like afterwards. Now one thing I will tell you guys. When you're doing this. And you're wearing shorts like this. Show the shorts. These are kind of plasticky shorts. Don't put your foot like this. Oh man. I'm going to tell you why. Because heat rises. Come on. <laughs> hey, and if you got plastic shoelaces like I did on my first pair of boots that I had up there, be careful because it will singe the boot laces right off of them boots. <laughs> I really love uh, working with the flamethrower. It really is amazing to be able to watch and do it. Yeah, Auntie Anne, I like the stripes too. I really love the way the, uh, the rings on the wood look like that. I believe this is pine. It's a, yeah, we think it's pine wood. No, we did not just order a new GoPro 11. Oh, nice. Check this out, guys. Gary, drunk the gems. You see how we're doing this right here? This is, this is getting it in. Jesus Girl, a.k.a. Julie, 499 Super Chat. Hi, my sweet brother, David. <laughs> Uh, I'm getting ready for my flight back to Virginia in the morning. You and Mike Rock. Thank you, Julie. <laughs> Twenty dollars super chat from Tim. He said, "You call this work? Come on." Tim don't know what work looks like. <laughs> Appreciate it, Tim. Man, this is pretty cool, guys. Let's, uh, oh, don't forget, you got to move your camera. That's one of the first things that Uncle David taught me when we were filming. Can't forget to move that guy because then you're going to get sick of just staring at one scene, right? All about them angles. And YouTube pro tip, when moving the camera, go ahead and shut it off. That way, it'll shorten up the clip, shorten up that upload time. Mim, it's our friend Mim from Malaysia. What's up? There we go. You guys see that? Huh? Got them angles. Man, 957 hanging out with us tonight. Thank you so much. That is so amazing. That is going to look so good in the tiny house, said Rita. Yes, it is. It's going to be so awesome. Hey, Simple Life Reclaims hanging out with us. What's up, guys? Howdy, howdy, y'all. Hunt and Holler Ranch. What's up now? Hear that flamethrower coming off the back of that jet? Dennis Green, I can't find my ladder to save my life, David. Can Dennis Green needs to bum a light. Here, De uh, here you go, Dennis. Put that on the tip of it. <laughs> Hit that thumbs up, guys. Hit that thumbs up. Don't get that flame too close. <laughs> what was it? 
too uh, too close to the camera. I know that's right, Jeannie Lipsky. How's it going, Terry? Hat Creek Homestead, what's going on? Brooke Burks, at least y'all waited for a cooler day uh, to, uh, to work with the fire. Yes, absolutely. Because, man, them hot, them hot days, uh, uh, sweat. A new member, uh, CJ, uh, CJ Turner, new member. Well, thank you. We need to hit them thumbs up, guys. What do y'all think of the working live? Is this pretty cool? Almost a thousand people. Guys, if we can get a thousand people with a thousand likes, I think we're going to show some exclusive. Let's get some more likes, guys. It's not enough yet. Slayer, Andrew, y'all do an amazing job on everything you do. So much. Thank you, man. Thank you. Oh, where is it at? I'm cooking. I'm cooking dinner, so my hands will be busy, but I'm lurking just like Todd. That's right. Hey, Mama V, what's going on? Mike, how dirty is that charcoal finish? Let's say you lean or brush against it. Let's find out. He just did this one. Still a little hot to the touch, not too bad. Ooh, still a little warm. Yep, yep. A little bit of a charcoal. Uh, Ian J. Smith, uh, 9.99 euro, I believe. Thank you so much. Show you something cool, too, guys. Uh oh. I've never tried this before, but I believe it'll work. Uh oh, he's trying something. He said he's never tried this before, but he's going to see if it works. Hope you can get some nice groceries, David, uh, with the super chat. Oh, I definitely will. No, no, no. If you all reach a thousand thumbs up, Mike's going to streak across Come On's lawn. Nobody yeah. wants to see that. Yeah. And it might take a little bit more than that. <laughs> Are you going to try to make some kind of design? I'm going to make Come On. Oh, that's going to be so awesome. He's going to spell Come On uh, with the rocks. That's going to be so cool. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to try. Auntie Ann said if you rinse it off before installing it, there won't be any char residue when you brush up against it. Well, once you put the polyurethane on there, <laughs> you ain't got to worry about that anyway. Ah, uh, that's right. We're going to put that polyurethane finish on it, and that polyurethane is going to lock everything in. Then you won't have that charcoal. Tammy Sink, hello from Ohio. Linda Edwards said, I so hope it works. Me too. I'm trying to get a better angle for you guys. Give me one second. Believe it or not, guys, this is how a lot of stuff gets designed around here on the fly. Right. Just See. whatever my brain comes up with, we try it. They do have laser engraver machines that do this for. Yeah, Hunt and Holler Ranch said, be careful, the wet rocks pop. Yeah, well, these ain't wet. It's been a hundred and something degrees here forever. Grumpy Grandpa Patriot Show, what's it's, going on? It's also the reason why I'm wearing glasses, because I am doing this on rock, and I do know that rock will pop. Right. Hey, Rebel at Heart, what's going on? If this works, I'm going to end up using this in the tiny house somewhere. Mike, can you add a link? We just bought some property today. was going to show you all... I got to be honest with you. I don't know how to add a link, uh, especially while I'm going live with his phone. But if one of the moderators want to drop a link on there, now that might be something different. Mike, you and me share the same birthday, September 5th. I will be 63. Nice, Robert. That's cool. All right, let's give it a shot. Lila Newton said, is, is there anyone else in the need of a Ridge Life lesson besides me? All right, guys, he's going to try to burn this. Come on. Let's see what's happening. What's up, The Flash? Diane Smith, I think I Junk the Gems is also the six. What's up, Alaska's last home frontier? Ooh, 
Let's see if this works. He said he didn't really like it, so he's going to erase it. Oh, hey, Jennifer Rogers, what's going on here? What is it? Time to move the camera, guys. Hey, why don't you grab it for me? Hanging out with it so far. J A, everyone in Florida checking in. Sorry, I'm late. You're right on time. Gary said he would have just darkened it up so you could barely see it. Use tools or bolts and nuts to burn it. Come on in the wood. Yeah, he was doing that with the rocks. He just said he didn't really like it, so so he uh, burned it, over it. It worked. It was honestly a test, guys. If I has like, which I do have steel out there where I could kind of cut letters out and stuff and lay it on top of the wood right there. And I would be able to kind of burn whatever I want. So something might be coming in the future with that. That was a nice little test. Big way. What's going on, brother? All right. We are done with this. I'll bring you all over here. Let's go. Of course, we got the supervisor. Supervisor. <laughs> This is live action, guys. This is exactly what I deal with every day. This one right here. Huh. huh. Yeah, I know it. I know it. I know it. You making sure that I'm being safe. All right, guys. As you can see, I've already got some pre-done before this whole thing. That was the last of what I needed to get done. Now we're going to add polyurethane, and I'm going to show you all the difference that it looks from when it's just burnt, which I actually like that look as well. But if you're wanting a little bit more deep kind of uh, color, then I'm going to use this here. Ryder looks at me like, work, come on. <laughs> you can show them what we're using. All right. Yeah, check it out, guys. This is what we're using right here. We're using the Midwax. This is the Indoor Outdoor uh, Minwax. Helmsman. Helm, uh, Helm, Helmsman. Spar urethane. Yep. All right. And basically, I got my little staining table set up. This is my redneck ingenuity right here. This was all part of the uh, Freedom Weekend grill. And I repurposed. Hey, making it home. What's up, Lauren? Here's the, uh, the urethane right here, guys. Look how thick this is. So, basically... I just got a little sponge roller, nothing too fancy. Get some good on there. Yeah, Amy, that would be a cool idea. And then kind of show them somewhat closer up. This oh, yeah. one was already done. This is prior. the one. Yeah, this, this is the one, test one already finished on it. Look at that sheen on that, guys. All right, we're gonna do this one. I don't know if it shows up with the camera or not. Yeah, you guys, let, let us know in the chat if you can see the difference when he puts that polyurethane here, on it. Can you here. see how it's it's wet right here, but it's not in the back? It really, really makes that, that burnt look real deep and the lighter color look a lot lighter. 1,219 people in the chat. Yeah, Auntie Ann says, yes, it shows perfect. Nice. Firefly, what's going on? Steve Walker. Lisa Littlefield said it makes it pop. 
Oh, yeah. And we like it popping around here. That's Come right. On. And trust me, guys, it's just like this whenever we're out here working. There's a lot of yelling and laughing, and we try to have a good time with it. Ron Sears, $10 super chat. Def uh, hold on. Whoops. Uh, la, 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 la. Where'd it go? Definitely, uh, or definitely want to help with the celebrity, uh, celebrity cookout. So Ce celebratory cookout. Nice. All right, L Lorenzo, I'm moving too quick. My bad. I got you. Yeah. Our, uh, our Okie homestead said it looks better. Looks killer. Uh Oh, I don't need those no more. Teresa said, I've never seen this process before. Cool idea. Thank you. Linda Oki said, seize the difference. Ever since I did the siding and I kind of had it in my head that I was going to do the siding um, like this. Man, I just fell in love with it. I, I love the style. It fits my style perfectly. Right. And uh, right there is a good example. Yeah, Dennis Green, that does look sweet. Show, show the two. Yeah, see them side by side, guys. Here, let me show try this. This one and this one. Right here? Yeah. Where, where's my hand? There we go. Over just a little bit. Can y'all see the difference between these two right here? Can y'all see how the uh, this one over here is the newer wood and this one polyurethane? Definitely see the difference, said Lindsay. Yeah. Hey, Mr. MT Homestead, Big Mike. What's going on, brother? Hey, did you get my message earlier, Mike? I moved the days of the move up uh, by one, if that helps you out any. If not, I understand, brother. Like, sure. Uh, uh, actually, no, I haven't been drinking at anything today. I got a, I got a soda over there getting hot, though. No, it's a straight water live for me. Yeah. This one, I mean, I've been getting it too much to have any of those adult beverages. Marilyn says, loves how it looks rustic. Yeah, see, my, my style... Um, Back whenever I was married, my ex liked modern and I liked rustic. So we started doing a lot of modern rustic. I would build rustic, like like real rustic, kind of not 45s and all that other stuff. And she would like decorate modern and it just tied it all together. And it became my favorite style as well, uh, that rustic modern. Rustic modern. So I decided being that I had to go drywall. With the tiny house, it was a perfect opportunity for me to bring that style in. And I felt like this would uh, really do that on a shoestring budget, guys. I don't know if y'all bought trim or crown molding or anything in a while, but, man, it is expensive. And to me, this looks so much classier and, and better looking. And, I mean, a whole board is just a couple of bucks. This this is your cheaper lumber, you know? Right. And you can turn it into something that's actually a focal point that people's going to talk about. And you only spent pennies on the dollar or what you would spend if you paid all that money for crown molding. Mel said she's still lurking and it looks amazing, bro. Thank you. Thank you. I can't wait for you all to see it uh, in two days. We, they was just here last Friday and it's completely different. Yeah, it, it, Mel, it already looks so di much different. Gary, guy, when you get here, you're going to be so blown away. Look, um, oh, 702 likes in already, guys. And we got 1,200. Y'all going to get a sneak peek? Oh, sneak peek when we get to 1,000. Whoa, Virginia Gamble. Hey, David and Mike from Chiefland, Florida. Oh, what's going on, Chiefland? Chiefland, Levy County. <laughs> Go Indians. Oh, I ain't going to say that. I'm a Bronson Eagle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an eagle and a bulldog, but I'll say. Phyllis Smith, 1999 Super Chat. Thank you so Thank much, you. Phyllis. All right. Hey, hey, go, Indians. Down. Get down. Oh, Ryder. Ryder, get down. Hey, you were just you, down there oh, man. Talk about being an inspector. He is all up on the scene, guys. Go ahead. And he's mad now. He's talking junk. Yeah, he's mad. Big Wave said Swanee County. Ryder, Ryder, you can't be up there, buddy. You got to be down here. You got to be down here. Lee Rodas, come on home, said it. Howdy, howdy. What's going on, buddy? Yeah, it, it's insane of the difference that you get with that right there. 778 on the likes. 
Hey, you guys want to go over and uh, or cuddly Texan? Hey, Mike, ask David what he thinks of that Dutch door idea between the pump room and the house bathroom. Um, either way, you're going to have to have it swing in or out, and there's not going to be a lot of space there because the washing machine is going to be on one side, and the bathroom sink is going to be on the other. Um, the door for the pump house is actually going to give you all the privacy you need in the bathroom. Um, once you shut that door, it has a lock on it and everything else. You're completely private. And uh, there will be a barn sliding door on my bedroom side eventually. So when I'm in my bedroom, there'll be privacy for people that's using the bathroom. So um, I don't think it's necessary. I do love the idea. And originally I was thinking about doing that. But whenever the, all the designs changed, um, it just made it to where it wasn't feasible. The Flash one said, would you both consider coming to London, England, uh, to London, UK, England to visit? I know I would. Man, I would be amazed to have an opportunity to go uh, to London, to anywhere in England, to any other country. I've never been out of the country and to visit somewhere like all the way uh, across the Atlantic Ocean into another continent or something like that. That would be a dream come true. I really. said earlier this year, one of my goals was to be able to go somewhere overseas and um, meet some of my subscribers while I'm there. Right. Paul... <laughs> Paul said, Ryder had to put his inspection signature on the wood, guys. <laughs> yep. See, this is also called being smarter than what you're messing with. That's right. Because uh, bending over is not good for me. So, as you can see, I built me a perfect height table <laughs> to do this kind of stuff. Speaking of uh, tables, uh, Gary and Mel from Simple Life Reclaim got me some uh, saw horses for Christmas, and uh, those were crucial with the drywall job. Right. Yeah, Apex. Yeah, South Africa. That would be amazing, too. Oh, yeah. Hey, I'll renew my passport. I'm willing to go wherever. Alaska's last frontier homestead. Are you talking about the uh, where all everybody's getting together for the cruise? Uh, he was talking, uh, he said, come to Alaska next summer for the uh, for the 2024 meetup i think you're talking about the cruise because the 2024 meetup is going to be may i believe i want to say 17 18 19 or something like that that weekend before memorial day weekend alaska's on my bucket list blue mountain lake but yeah alaska is definitely on, on the bucket list, list. Hawaii and alaska are the only two places i have not been in i've been in all other states i haven't hung out or anything like that i might have only been through the corner while i was driving through but uh, those two I have not been to, and Alaska is definitely on my bucket list. I would love to go salmon fishing, and I, I want to get a moose. Robin, love to get a moose. Robin Lewinsky said, is David's hat available in merch? Just saying. No, but I think it's available at um, – hold on. Wait, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Oh, what's that sports store? I'm having a brain fart. That ain't where I got it. That, you didn't get it at the, uh, at the yep. one place place? I got it in Boonville at – Tractor Supply? Ah, uh, Tractor Supply. Where is Midnight? That's a, that's a good question. Let's go on a walk, guys. Well, let's, she's already eating, so there's no pill. Let's go see the goats. You guys want to see the goats? I know y'all probably ain't seen the goats in a while. I just, a uh, while ago, Eclipse was chasing the goats around, and then uh, Chanel turned around and, like, hit her in the butt, and they were chasing the, each other. It was so cool. Yeah, who would have thought? The wood burns. Spin you guys around. What's up, goat? There's Eclipse. There's my baby girl. Hi, baby girl. Uh, oh, the cruise is in August. That is awesome. I wanted to go on that cruise, actually, brother. But uh, Alyssa says no go on cruises. She's terrified. Look at that baby girl. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Boom. There's Eclipse. Wait. There's Midnight. There's Midnight right there. And there's... Uh, Ryder, you can see how much bigger Ryder is than Midnight. Hi, baby girl. Hi, baby girl. Hey, look at the goats, guys. They're just hanging out. We fed all the animals just recently. That's a good girl. Cuddly Texan, I thought I was going to hit that fence. <laughs> I had to pay attention to where I was because if I would have backed into it, that would have been like. Mm.
Man, yeah, Midnight and Ryder, guys, all at the same. All in the same. Hi, baby girl. I know you want some, some love. Come on, Midnight. You want some love? Oh, good stretch. Good stretch, Midnight. You want some lovings? You want some lovings? She's going to bolt, guys, as soon as I get a little closer to her. Want some lovings? Oh, she's letting me pet her. She's letting me pet her. Yeah, uh, all handmade, Connie. Uh, Midnight has had a, a bad right paw for a little while. But she's getting better. She was limping a lot hard on it. Yeah, drift her down. Bzz, Christian. <laughs> Let's go over here and check out some of this uh, poly polyurethane that he has over here. I know, Auntie Anne, that was so amazing to be able to pet uh, Midnight like that. She definitely... Kathy J, I just gave those goats fresh water just earlier. Uh, that's just hard water that uh, go in there. I actually I sprayed out the container and everything. So it's just, that's the water up here. Dennis Green, Mike was fisting to learn a new dance on that hot fence. <laughs> I actually touched that fence uh, the very first time it was installed just to test it out because I wanted to know if, uh, you know, what kind of zap that it was going to give you. Mike, the kitty whisper. Hey, uh, Midnight just let me pet her. Yeah, she's been doing that. She's getting a long way. She's getting a lot more friendly. Look, guys, got to move that camera. There's a lot of work, guys, that go behind the scenes with these animals that I never showed. There's a reason why they're all so friendly and loving. David, how would uh, someone order your merch? Uh, Lynn, the Okie wants to know. Uh, first, I have to make it. And then... Uh, I'm about to get on Bonfire, guys, and uh, start doing merch again. All the merch that I have right now, I actually designed and everything when I was still in Florida. And I had a friend of mine that had a uh, upholstery business that made it all. I just couldn't keep up with shipping, guys. So uh, I'm going to get on Bonfire and design some more here soon. Um, probably whenever I officially do the logo change, that's still happening. I've just had too much going on to deal with that. Goats drink from ponds all the time, so I think they're fine drinking what they have. Yeah, for sure, Auntie Anne. Like oh, I said, it's clean water. It's just the hard water at the bottom of the rubber. Yeah, that's what I was telling them. I, I you can spray it out, and it doesn't come out. I literally just cleaned out that thing, like yeah. right before the live. The goats get fresh water at a minimum of every other day, and I have two big things. They are never out of water, and uh, I dump <laughs> those things out at least every two days and give them nice fresh water and if it's real real hot outside I, I don't care if it's fresh or not i still give them cold water. david our uh, our friend west house got some jokes it might be too soon buddy he said david when's your next drywall job <laughs> <laughs> um, block that person <laughs> i'm kidding <laughs> that was hilarious hey that was by far the worst drywall job i've ever done guys and that was also a learning drywall job as well on top of it. Right, yeah. I, I mean, could have easily jumped in and took the cutting from Mike and stuff, and it would have looked different. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. But Mike's never done drywall before except for being like a laborer, yeah. basically. And Mike's about to build his own house, guys. And uh, I knew there wasn't nothing that he couldn't cut that I couldn't fix <laughs> in there. And uh, definitely took a lot more mud and sanding than I like. Right. But uh, – it was, uh, he learned a ton. I mean, he got so much better by the end of that. It, it wasn't even funny. So it was worth every bit of it. Organized chaos of two old farts. Rock and Ridge said, we are sending gifts to uh, DD5, David, SLR, and CRC. Oh, hey, Julia from SLR. What's going on, sweetie? What's going on, Julia? How was your first day of school? Yeah, how was your first day of school, sweetie? Serenity had a great time. Thirteen hundred seventy-eight people hanging out with right, us tonight. That's what I'm talking about. Do David, we got a thousand likes yet? will you be doing rainwater harvesting off the tiny house? Yeah, he is going to be doing yeah. some kind of rainwater harvesting. Pretty much by the time it's over with, guys, any building that gets constructed out here that exists out here will have some sort of rain catchment on it before it's all said and done. Right. But I have a well right now, so it's not like top priority. But it is something that I want to incorporate in every building, especially uh. 
like the barns and all the animal shelters and stuff that I'm going to build, I want them to be pretty much self-contained where I don't have to run pipe all over the place with Uber to run uh, sprinklers and deal with stuff freezing and all that other stuff. So Right. Julia said, it was good, and I love my teacher. Oh, well, hey, that makes all the difference right there, sweetheart. Um, I don't think Robinson Belly Acres is going live tonight. I haven't seen it. Auntie Ann, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, I searched uh, Robertson Belly Acres page, and I didn't see a thumbnail or where they had posted a live. So just uh, just a forewarner, guys, we may go over the time slot tonight. We may creep into that 7 o'clock hour. Um, but I don't think Robertson Belly Acres is going live. But if they are going live and they do end up going live with a late post, we do apologize. But we are going to keep on. We're going to be working here with Uncle David. I'm going to try to get this done. I have to get this done so we can dry. And I would like to actually hang out with y'all for a little while before I end the live. And also, I want to show y'all a little bit inside the tiny house if we can get a thousand likes. We need a thousand likes. And Cami T says, hit that like button, people. 1384 only 879 that means we only need 121 more likes guys for a super special sneak peek it's gonna be amazing I haven't, even been, I haven't even normally you know i show like a lot of sneak peeks on my side channel come on keeping it real if you ain't liked and subscribed and to that channel you might want to because a lot of times i can show sneak peeks on there a lot quicker than i can actually edit the videos of me doing all the work and uh I don't show it all, but I show just enough so you kind of know what's going on. And uh, I haven't even showed them guys any of this. I've been keeping it a secret until the videos. So in all reality, y'all will get the only sneak peek uh -oh. before the video. Uh -oh. Hey, bang, bang, Niner Gang. We only need 49 more likes, guys, till we hit that thousand. <laughs> you like what I did there, Dennis Green? <laughs> They don't always schedule their lives. They missed last week, so they'll most likely go tonight, said Auntie Ann. Okay, thank you for letting us know. And uh, like I said, we do apologize. Uh, we are going to be spilling over tonight, probably. Yeah, I don't normally. But uh, tonight's a little bit different. This is special again. The, uh, ev there is a lot of people that want to know, uh, what are we going to do? Wow, only 24, uh, 24 more now. Uh, what are we going to be doing with the tiny house uh, or the cabin now that you're moving into the tiny house? This cabin? Or the one that we're about to take down. No, th yeah, the cabin right now the, that you're sleeping in now. Uh, it's actually, you ever watch one of those old westerns where you got like the brothel where you kind of go in through the door and, you know, you got them playing cards and pool and kind of all that kind of stuff kind of going on there. I'm basically going to turn it into something like that for entertaining because this whole area is for entertaining barbecues and stuff like that. And I'm going to do that. There will be darts, a pool table. Um, one section where my bed is right now, I'm actually going to put a weight bench and, and have a couple of workout tools because I really miss going to the gym ever since I left Dallas. It's about the only thing I liked about the city was having a gym. So eventually, um, it'll be something like that. And the loft will continue to be a uh, sleeping quarters for guests. Um, I would love to redo the cabin to live in guys, but it's just too far gone to make it sealed and everything that it needs to be livable. Um, I don't think the money and the effort will be worth it, but I still love the cabin and want the cabin. So um, I think that's a good alternative because I can seal it somewhat and all that other stuff. And for entertainment and events and stuff like that, it'll be fine. But living in it day to day, when you can see outside everywhere you look, there's a problem. Yeah, the major change, like an old West brothel. Yeah. Something. Hey, uh, big things. Oklahoma Grand, uh, Grammy Sandra Madrano. Hello, hello. How about that shirt he's wearing? And. Uncle David, we are over 1,000 likes. All right. Well, guys, I only got a couple more boards, and then we'll do the mock-up uh, and show you all inside the tiny house. So stick around. Yeah, uh, Sue, the AC is already in there. Uh, you must have missed a video or two. You might oh, want to yeah. go check that yeah, out. The AC, is, the AC is kicking like Van Dam. Come on. And Mind Blowing says, get a beer and liquor license and open up an old-timey saloon. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? It would be cool, but to be honest with you, that'd be uh, too many people up here on the mountain. Yes. <laughs> yes. This is uh, this is for stuff like Freedom Weekend or just gatherings when I have family here and friends. And, you know, the fire pits in this area, all the outdoor kitchens in this area. Eventually, that's what this building is going to be for, the outdoor bathroom and stuff is what this really is. This is just uh, being that I'm going to live in it, it's turned into a whole other level of outdoor bathroom. Right. 
our urban homestead from Perth, Australia. Hello, hello. It's going to be the sexiest pump house on, on YouTube. Snake Doctor, no doubt. Smart move about the house. Yeah, and to be honest with you guys, my original dream when I decided to go off grid and to do this when I bought my Florida homestead was to do a container house because I used to be an iron worker and welding and steel is kind of what I did for a long, long time before the recession and I got into uh, IT and a sports bar and all that other stuff. So I've always wanted to do a container home. And I also, I know it's something that my brother will come up here and uh, get involved with me. And I miss working with my brother. I mean, that was my road dog for many years. Me and him built a whole lot of stuff all over this great nation of ours. And uh, also with the storms and stuff that we got up here, I mean, I'm not going to be mad at being in a steel home. Come on. <laughs> you know. Hey, Big Mike MT Home said, $30 super chat. In case we miss coming to the mountain on Thursday, uh, here's some jingle for some adult, adult drinks or adult beverages. Thanks, brother. I appreciate you. And uh, tonight, guys, the flavor of sipping cream is H2O. Yeah. No adult beverages tonight, guys. We are still working. Well, yeah, we're working. I'm, I'm working. You're working. Right? But uh, we're still getting it in, and it's so hot out here. Stay hydrated. We need some H2O. Hey, what's going on, Petty Jean River Homestead? Yeah, uh, Simple Life Reclaimed, like Bobby said, uh, they go live on Wednesdays, and it's, it's not on Friday. Billy Parsley, yes, you're finally on the live. Thank you so much. I'm going to tell you all something else, too. Another thing that's been going through this rabbit brain of mine. Uh, I spend a lot of time, believe it or not, I don't really listen to a whole lot of music whenever I'm out here working and stuff. I, I, I go through every once in a while. Well, Mike showed up the other day and I was actually jamming. He was jamming. I was shocked. I, I never heard any music while we've always worked. We always work in silence. I'm working quiet and I just think. I'm always thinking. Coming up with different ideas and plans and all of that and um how cool would it be like in the cabin when i do the old brothel type deal or whatever to do something like this for the floor Ooh! tell me that would make an, an amazing floor and roof ceiling instead of doing cedar and using all the hot you know hard to get cedar around here and everything right but to do this as a ceiling and the floor i think this would look amazing i think it would look fantastic for sure we got uh 1068 likes and we are 52 minutes in just a little what's happening this is an overhead view guys look at this absolutely amazing huh and just a little bit of effort a little bit of time and very minimal money guys Man, and you can create custom. I like that. Yeah, Victoria said yes. We can see the difference for sure. Hey, there's our uh, there's our fellow grilling uh, master grilling addiction with Nick. What's going on, What's brother? Going on, buddy? Yeah, it's magic. Yeah, <laughs> this is the magic right here, guys. This also doesn't take much polyurethane. Billy Parsley said it's gorgeous. Can't wait to see it into the tiny house. Ooh. How about that? How about you seeing something in a tiny house? You will see this mm. in the tiny house, just not the polyurethane version. There we go. We got over a thousand. And we only got four more boards left. I also wanted, I didn't want to do something too. Might as well do it with you guys, being as y'all working with me today. And I've already got the stuff out. I would be using the same product on the outside of the tiny house. So we might do a little section of the outside of the tiny house just to see what it's going to look like. Mm. I've been curious ever since me and Mike did the sighting. And everybody's saying, yes, it would look absolutely wonderful. Give you all some more sneak peeks. Uh, I've decided that I'm going to do my own bathroom canopy and stuff or cabinet and everything in the tiny house. And uh, you could believe there would be something to do with this in there. Right along with some uh, rusted corrugated metal to match the shower. Ridge Life Ramblings Tim, $5 super chat. Don't miss my video publishing right after this live about the trespasser stealing the canopy on the ridge. Holy smokes. 
Trespasser, Tim. Guys, Trespasser on the Ridge. After this live is over, run over to Ridge Life Ramblings. Check out that video from Tim. Trespassers on the Ridge. I am glad you stopped it. And they didn't have to be a part of the... the uh, hey, Tim, remember when we were out on the Ridge and we were doing the exploring? And we seen where all them coyote bones were? It might end up out there with the coyotes. Ooh. Only three more boards, guys. Only three more boards, and we're going to show you a sneak peek. Uh-oh, he's got to open some more. Look at all this water dripping off of my head. Sweating. Linda Bing, hello, hello. Now, full transparency, guys, I probably will be putting another coat on this by the end of the evening. Uh, Y'all be long gone and other adventures by then. Uh, someone asked, something happened in the, give me one second, guys. I'm not sure exactly what I did, but I did something and now I can't, uh, scroll the chat, but, uh, <laughs> I have been keeping up pretty good on the water guys so far. We haven't even ran out of one full water tote yet, but what I did do, and I think, uh, was going to be smart and proactive for myself is once one of the water totes started getting about halfway. I just started pumping the other water into that one so that I only have to just keep refilling that one at a time. And I'll always have a locked and stocked full water jug. Hi, guys. Great work out there from Connecticut. Thank you, Judy Mills. Brian Wilkerson, what's going on, brother? Big Mama said, quite happy listening while you are working. Hey, it's it, Big Mama. It's always better when someone else is doing the work and you can just listen. I know that's right. I love to work, guys. Working is my happy place. Work, hey, you tell Uncle David, listen, today I need you to have a nice, slow, come on, relax day. You know what he's going to do? He's going to go build something. <laughs> <laughs> McKevin, what's going on, brother? He said, love this kind of live. Thank you. Come on with the water jugs, Lee. Before. Okay. Doing a little rub down first. That one was dirty. Just wanted to say hello from Rhode Island. Been a long time. Hello, hello. I hello. missed your name. I haven't been to Rhode Island since I was a young teenager. Tina says, Mike, you are a tremendous asset to the lives. Thank you, Tina. I appreciate that. I don't know. Uh <laughs> Wait, I made it to a live from Arizona. Melissa, hello. I don't know if you guys know this, but I've said it once or twice. The live stream aspect part of YouTube is my most absolute favorite part. Uh, hold on one second. I love going live. I love interacting with you guys. It is, I love so much being in a crowded room of people. Uh, just getting to know and everybody gabbing back and forth and everything like that. So for sure, doing a live would be absolutely amazing. And yes, Christian, we know Robertson Belly Acres uh, uh, going live tonight at seven. But unfortunately, like I said, we're gonna we're uh, we're not gonna be there. We're gonna be a little late. One more board, guys. Just give us one more board, and we're gonna uh, show you that sneak peek. We're trying to get it in. Sixteen hundred people. Woo! Man, that's amazing. Hello, Brenda Hall. I'm working as fast as I can. Oh, now there's a good deal. Someone, someone, someone who was that? David Glunt. That was an outstanding uh, thought. Let me read that out loud to Uncle David for you. David Glunt said, I bought a 17 by 10 canvas garage. Y'all want to come to Delaware? Put it up. I'll buy you McDonald's. <laughs> That's a hard option to turn down, huh? tell you what the only thing i like from mcdonald's is their frappes and <laughs> i don't know i'll tell you what though i'll send you all of my love and support from over the interwebs on that one thank you auntie ann yeah let them know that we're going to be a little late tonight all right are they going live yeah they are going live i believe all right guys sneak peek Sneak Oh, first we're gonna. First, he's gonna try the outdoor. Still, sixteen hundred and six people hanging out with us. 
Now, Ooh, I've been wanting to know what this is going to look like ever since we put this site in on. So let's give it a shot. Nancy Smith, is the burnt technique you're using a Japanese idea? And how about a Japanese name for the tiny house? Um, yes, I believe it is. And probably not. Yeah. I have a hard time pronouncing stuff to begin with. And uh Ooh, look at that. You can see it, guys. I worked my butt off on this. So probably not gonna give it a Japanese name. <laughs> Ed Junk the Gem said and this and it was built in America. Come on. Come on, homesteading. See, Mike ain't afraid to work. He'll stand right next to you. <laughs> okay, how about Whataburger? Instead of McDonald's. <laughs> I don't like Whataburger either. Be in and out. I think Whataburger is, uh, I don't, I'm not into the hype. Right. Man, that is looking good, actually. Ariel, how's it going, brother? Billy Parsley. Yes, that looks amazing, doesn't it? Olivia, David, are you going to be, uh, Putting the poly on the floor over the chips and paint. No. No. I should not have to seal that type of paint. Yeah, that and that, because that's what the... Uh, that's we, for like garage doors, uh, garage floors and stuff like that. And we put down a seal already on top of it before we put the coat on there. Yes, Lorraine, McDonald. It's so, what a difference, right? It's absolutely beautiful. I'm just trying to do two quick sections right here so we can get a kind of below and top right. perspective. And the more you put this on, the more depth the color will get. This is just a quick one coater. Right. And trust me, this is junk is extremely dry, so it is sucking it in. Fendi dog, hello, hello. Okay. That should be good enough to show the big guy's wifey said, Oh my god, the poly on the tiny house is the shiz knit. Yeah, see, this is without and this is with without get a little bit closer so you can kind of see all four. Oh, yeah, well, that, yeah, when I was I was back it's back there, the you sign. could see it. I can't see it when I'm that close. That's why I was right here. Yeah. You can see it so good. Yeah. I know from the side, you, it doesn't look like it, but right, right here where I'm at, it's it's such an obvious difference. It, they said you should spray it on the tiny house. Yeah, I probably will. Um, Maybe like a pump sprayer? Yeah. Well, no, I have an actual sprayer sprayer. Whew, it's hot. I need to find my water real quick, guys, and then we'll show you the tiny house. All right. 1,623 people hanging out with us in the chat. We got over 1,000 likes in the chat, guys. And we are about to show you some exclusive, exclusive sneak peeks, guys. This is going to be so amazing. Cody before it rains a lot and might get a, a mold spot. Troy said, uh, come on, uh, great to the outside, Cody, before it rains a lot and creates a mold spot. All right. I'm going to go in first. Uh, real quick. All right. Woo, here it comes, guys. Yep, I got you. Yep. Here we go, Tim Mason. What's on, brother? Yes, it sure does brighten up that black. It? it pops so hard, Michelle. It looks so good. Polly looks great. Uh, you'll need to hit. You'll need to thin it to spray it. Oh, David Clint. All right, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Drum roll, please. Like I said, guys, this right here is not polyurethane yet. This is just standard stuff. Sure, it's bright in here. So it will go up like so. Like so, you might have to get up in the distance so they can actually see. This is definitely not cut to scale or anything like that. But this one right here, I'm actually going to rip in half, and there'll be like two and a half inches on each side. Kind of wrap in the corners. Can y'all actually see? Or can you guys? Like is it? Does, can you actually see the wood, or is it just too black? Kind of show where you can get far enough back that you can see the bottom of it. Too. Yeah. Well, well it's just so. The it. They're not going to see the texture, but they'll be able to see how it frames out. Right. Yeah. 
Yeah, they said it looks amazing. It's going to be awesome, fantastic. It's going to be like a giant picture frame, guys. Yeah. I don't want to touch the walls too much because I got smut all over my hands. But I did use semi gloss to make all this easier to wash down. You are getting to see a whole lot more of this than what I wanted you to see. Yeah. <laughs> It looks a little bit different in here, guys. Man, it's, bit, it's bright. Wait till y'all see the two videos that's coming out. Uh, I put one out today, which was an epic video, good video. Um, there's no drywall sanding in there. There is drywall, but no sanding in there. And then the next one will be the sanding and the finishing of all the drywall. And the following will be the painting. So definitely be on the lookout for those. Yeah, Melissa, Melissa caught it. She was like, "Yeah, the walls look great too." <laughs> A lot of work, guys. A lot of work has went into that. How are we looking on time? Uh, we are one hour and six minutes in. All right, we're going to stay until 7.10. Just run over about 10 minutes. Uh, I want to thank everybody for jumping in. I hope you all enjoyed this live. Kind of let me know what you all think about this live. Um, you all got about five minutes. Got about five, min in. Tell me what five minutes. Oh, let me. Uh, I was going to. Yeah, I was going to grab the uh, tripod. Washer can uh, move over and get storage out too. Yes, there's going to be so much room now going on in there. So many things that's about to happen on the mountain, guys. It's it's epic. It really is. Yeah, it looks great. We did something similar in my daughter's place. Said spill the tea with Michelle Plus Two. Uh, they uh, Auntie Anne said this was a blast. Uh, love the working live. Uh, this was the best live. Said uh, Big Mama right. Lorenzo. Yeah, everybody is definitely. Uh, digging this kind of style See if, uh, Like I said It's not something I can always do But it's definitely a format that I will try to do From time to time Pull up the chat here So I can see what's happening Whew. It's still humid guys Love hey. working live There we later. go Enjoyed the live Love it Love it Best nice. live a great live. Come on. Thanks, Hunt and Holla Ranch. Big guy's wifey, your hard-ass work is paying off. Looks so good. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we're a little crooked. That's my bad. Yeah, we're a little crooked. Hey, I'm a little crooked these days. It's uh, <laughs> I don't know if I'm coming or going anymore. Yeah. Uh, man, we're cooking. We still got 14, uh, 1,400 likes. Or no, 1,400 people. See, guys, it's no adult beverage tonight. Uh, loving great guys. Yeah, definitely. I'll be on the lookout for the actual videos, guys. Um, like I said, it's been around the clock here, uh, all this week. And, uh, I told you about the last two days, but honestly, it's been like that, uh, for about six days now, I would say. Ain't been a whole lot of sleep, been a whole lot of getting, and I've been on a mission. And typically when I go on and get on a mission like this, guys, I get tunnel vision. And I just hit a whole nother gear. Right. And um, I am paying attention to my health. But to be honest with you, I felt great. I, I felt like I needed this to just keep my mind occupied, my body occupied. And, uh, and I knew it was going to take an, uh, an effort like this to actually get to what I needed to get done, done. And, of course, the supervisor, as soon as I stop for a minute, he thinks it's time to hang out. Thank you so much, Big Mama. She said, Mike, this has to be your destiny. Great teamwork, gentlemen. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it was kind of cool. It was kind of like setting up like a like a stage event, like props and all this other stuff. Um, I was setting up for this for a little while. Honestly, I could have finished this a while ago, right. um, but I saved some of it for you guys because uh, that was hard for me because normally once I start going, Man, he's I don't stop. And uh, I had to stop myself tonight. I was like, well, if I do it all, there ain't going to be nothing to work. Right. So, um. But yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and get off here. Uh, everybody go over to Robinson Belly Acres and tell them uh, that old com that com old come on just kept us too long. Come on. Uh, you know, sometimes we get long-winded, guys. We'll just talk and talk yeah. and talk. But this was a fun one, guys. I enjoyed it. Uh, sorry I didn't get to interact that much. Uh, I just couldn't. Uh, I, the sun set and I needed to get all this stuff done. And when I was torching it so loud, I couldn't hear anyways. Yeah. So. It is what it is, and I also don't need to be reading comments whenever I got a blowtorch in my hand. That's right. <laughs> they said, don't worry, Mike, was your live tripod. Yep, there you go. Works out pretty good. 
But I'm going to get back at it, guys. I want to put another coat on to this before it gets dark. Uh, yeah, and we're going to keep on going and keep on pumping out. Make sure that you go over to Come On Keeping It Real and like and subscribe for all the behind the scenes and sneak peeks. And make sure that y'all go to this channel right here and watch the video that came out today. Yo, hey, and uh, also, don't forget to head on over to Ridge Life Rambles and check out what's going on over there. And DD5 dropped something on you guys today also. Come on. Big things going all around on the family, guys. Big things. We love y'all. Thanks for hanging out with us. Go Ridge Life. Hot mic. Hot mic. Is it Hot on?